was ranked 51st in a nationwide ranking of public education. We were ranked 51st because Indiana temporarily kicked us out of the state. Wow, Leslie, that's fantastic. I'm really thrilled for you. Just please keep in mind potential side effects. I don't want you to get carried away. Oh, Ron, you silly little mustache. Of course I've thought about all the side effects, and the only ones I can think of are great. Neuropsychologists believe that the newly invented genetically modified cotton is the way to go. If I were to say that it was impossible to improve memory mittens with my memory llama cotton technique, then I would be going against the paradigm. Don't you ever touch my mustache again. For the past three years, Leslie's been working on a project known as Memory Mittens. The idea is that when the user is wearing the mittens, they remember everything they've ever learned ever. This would be a great idea if it weren't driving Leslie crazy, and therefore driving me crazy. I've been trying to develop these mittens for years, but I had to go through the cycle of credibility first. Years ago, I started research all about memory, working towards my master's and PhD, but I had to replicate a few studies first to gain credibility. Eventually, I was able to go to more conferences and do my own research and finally publish and gain credibility for my very own work. Thank you all for joining me. I have some very exciting news to tell you all. Does it involve a pay raise? Gotta give me some new blinked out face wash again. No, Tom. Even better. I invented memory mittens to help out the people of Pawnee remember everything. Does it come in designer? No, Tom, they do not. Okay, well then I'm not wearing them. I can't let that cheap fabric cut my sparkle lotion hands. Donna, would you care to share what you're doing? Oh, she just tweeted about how bad of an idea this is, considering these mittens completely take away the need for humans to remember anything on their own. Well, I think it's a lovely idea, Leslie. Jerry, no one cares about your stupid opinion. Hey, maybe Jerry can use these to remember his own name. Gary! <laughs> I love mittens, but why does it always have to be about learning? You get mittens! You get mittens! Everybody gets mittens! I just finished reading a book about Eureka. Some people say that the robot is giving answers that can't be understood by humans. But humans are the ones that created this robot. So the social construction perspective has it all wrong. No, 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 no. The realist theory is all wrong because the robot knows more than the scientists. We have breaking news coming in today. After the release of the new memory mittens, test scores have skyrocketed and teachers are reporting seeing students using the mittens during class. Could these mittens be changing the learning game? I need to speak to Leslie no, right now. She's running late today. I'm sorry. She got eaten by a bear last night. Isn't that her right there? No, that is her twin sister. Leslie, yep. Leslie, look what this thing did to my child. Their hands got sweaty and the mittens short-circuited. She doesn't even remember anything, not even her own name. This can't be happening. This must be an anomaly within our paradigm because no one else has even had this problem. Up until now, it's all been considered normal science. I'm so sorry, but I can't help you, ma'am. This isn't the last you're hearing from me. Oh, I don't understand how this could be happening. I went through the whole Cooney revolution. Normal science. 
anomaly, revolution. What comes in here again? I just don't remember. Leslie, you have to fix this. Oh, you're so right. I don't know, Leslie. I kind of like these mittens now. This is all going on YouTube. <laughs> Fraud! I spent the past three weeks working to resolve the scientific controversy by running new tests, making sure all my instruments were calibrated, and that everyone who worked on the memory mittens worked in it, on it in the exact same procedure. I worked out all the possible problems with the memory mittens could create. And this <laughs> isn't one of them. If it was any problem with my design, it, would on, it wouldn't only affect one person. Who could possibly care enough about Jerry to have a vendetta against him? I don't think they're targeting Jerry, Ron. I think they're targeting me. Assuming hypothetically that you are right, what, who do you think would target you? Eagletonians. Ever since high school, Eagletonians have sworn to make my life miserable. They come to public meetings and talk about how horrible I am at my job. They vandalize our town and try to make their town look even better. They try closing down JJ's diner even because they know how much I like their waffles. But this time, I'm fighting back. Hello? Yes, my name is Leslie Nope. I created a product called Memory Mittens that were stored in your company's warehouse until distribution. I have a reason to suspect tampering of my product and would like to request security footage during the time that my memory mittens were stored. Great! Thank you so much. Eagletonians, you're going down. Okay, everyone, major mittens meeting right now. Um, can we do this later? I'm trying to do my nails. We're watching a movie. Is it Twilight? No, but you're definitely going to want to see this, Tom. Jerry isn't coming. He had to go to the hospital after his attack. Ugh, oh, Jerry. Check this out. So, yeah, this was fun, but I want to go on my lunch break. Um, is this supposed to mean something? Shh, keep watching. That, did you see that? What? I didn't see anything. Dang, those Eagletonians trying to sabotage you, Leslie. Hold on, I have to take this. Hello? Purd! I would love to come on your show and talk about the memory mittens. I'm going to set the record straight that I'm not responsible for the damage that these wonderful mittens have caused. Tomorrow? Oh, I'll be there. 9 a.m. sharp. See you then. Bye, Purd. Today we have a special guest. Miss Leslie Nope is here to tell us her side of the story in the memory mittens catastrophe. Well, I wouldn't go so far as to call it a catastrophe. There were only two reported cases of complications with the memory mittens, and we've already found the source of the problem. And what would that source be, Miss Nope? Eagletonians. I found video footage of Eagletonians opening up boxes of memory mittens and interfering with the internal structure so that they no longer function properly. So you're trying to tell us that you have proof that you aren't making this up? I have footage here with me today. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. Let's take a look. Uh, Leslie, are you sure this is the right one? Yes, yes, I promise. Just keep watching. Well, this is something we'd love to hear from our viewers. What do you think about this controversial turn of events? Tweet us using the hashtag MMSabotage, and your tweet could get featured on air after this commercial break. My name's Jerry, and I lost 40 pounds on Nutrisystem. We loved hearing all of your feedback. Our first tweet is from at Don and Meagle saying, 
Even though Leslie is crazy, the scandal is not her fault. But another tweet from at Eagletonians are number one says memory mittens are giving students a chance to cheat on tests and that we're doing the education system a favor. Hmm, sounds like the Eagletonians have a bit of a point. What do you say about this, Leslie? I'm in favor of demo democratic decision making. This should be a decision that both citizens and experts have a say on. I'll be holding a panel at the Parks and Recreation Office tomorrow at 5 p.m. Some of my fellow scientists will be on the panel and people of the public who are interested in being heard are encouraged to come. If you want to say in the future of Memory Minutes, go to the panel tomorrow and let your voice be heard. This is Purd and you're watching The Final Word with Purd. Thank you all for coming today. Before we begin, I would like to briefly talk about my invention and give some background information so that we can properly assess the future of this product. I created Memory Mittens as a way to increase memory for the citizens of Pawnee. I did not intend for it to be used as a way for students to cheat. I strongly believe that if used by a minor, it should be used under adult supervision as a way to eliminate situations like these. Here with us today, we have a scientist panel to help answer any questions that you all may have. The topic is now open for discussion. I have a question. So, other than the possibility of students cheating on tests, are there any health risks involved to using the MINS? No. The product has been tested multiple times by multiple organizations and is deemed safe for use. Even if my hands sweat, Yes, the problem with sweating originated from tampering with the product. Well, how do I know my product's been tampered with? After recent events, <clears throat> we have made sure that guards are on duty at the Memory Mittens warehouse at all times. And how do you plan to resolve the problem associated with students cheating? A warning label will be placed on all future Memory Mittens packaging, advising users that children should be supervised while using the mittens. Many technologies have the ability to do both good and bad things. It is up to us as individuals to make sure we use it for the right reasons. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot supervise every person who uses the mittens, but I completely believe that the benefits outweigh the harm. Are there any more concerns that need to be addressed? We will now take a vote on the future of memory mittens. Please vote carefully, because once you vote, your vote is made, you cannot change it. The results show that 95% of people who voted approved of keeping memory mittens. We appreciate your input and look forward to the potential that memory mittens has. Donna is right about democratic decision making. I knew that by incorporating the opinions of citizens and experts and taking it out would provide the best result for my product. Also, I've realized that although I created the mittens, the mittens also determined many things I could do. I, it was a give and take between humans and technology. Society didn't determine technology, nor did technology determine society. It was an actor network where we all influenced one another. I'll always remember that. I finally got my memory mittens approved by scientists and to the public. Democratic decision making really is the way to go. Congratulations, Leslie. Now stop talking about it. But we're having a party to celebrate. You have to come, Ron. No, I'm, I'm busy. But you don't even know what day it is. I'm busy every day. Did somebody say party? Leslie, you earned this. Let's celebrate. Party rock is in the house tonight. Everybody just have a good time. Yeah. And we gon' gonna make you lose your mind. Everybody just have a good time. We have breaking news coming in. After the release of the new memory mittens. Okay, sorry. I can't read this. <laughs> we have breaking news come. Oh, uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> we have breaking news, which is breaking news, coming in. After the release of the new memory mittens, teachers, oh my gosh, why can't I do this? Okay, I just have to. Teachers are reporting that students' test scores are skyrocketing. 
Okay, I just ruined that again. No, it was fine. I worked out all the possible problems that the memory mittens could create. Isn't one of the, and Jerry isn't, sorry. Ron, I spent the past three weeks resolving the science. <laughs> It has been proven that the prop. Uh, How can I help you? Oh, do you want me to start speaking or am I just recording? <laughs> it's staying up now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't want to be. Everybody just have a good time. Yeah. And we gon' make you lose your mind. Woo. Everybody just have a good time.